A young man with a wife, his body says, and kids. 90 feet to his death. He fell down, died in front of his son and his wife. In, in front. That's what almost, did you say? It's almost tough. What shit. did you say? Who told him to do that? Why did but you, you just that? told me it's the promoters or geniuses. geniuses. You're contradicting yourself. Because they, they made a fortune. And they killed him. They killed him. They killed him. They killed him. With the changes with mentalities of the McMahon that you call a genius, I call a, a low life amongst the lowest of the low lives. That's uh, you know, uh, he, he came up with these things. If I had been on Owen's heart uh, uh, situation, yes, sir. and McMahon had told me to go 90 feet up in the air, yes, I would have told McMahon to go screw himself yes, right sir, on you yeah. So we got a promoter that made a guy that was scared of heights that walked out in the afternoon with an amateur, rig him up there. He fell down, died in front of his son and his wife. They scraped him off the mat and they put someone else in there. Let's forget union and everything else. Don't you find that heinous? Owen's got a choice here. He's, gave, he's being given a big push and to be the main event there, there's a lot of dollars that's gonna take care of his family. And Owen kind of weighed in his head, I imagine, you know, for a second, I'm walking out, where am I gonna go? The WCW was going at that time, but I mean, I've, I've got it here. Owen made the courageous decision to go ahead and do it. <laughs> I saw Owen, he had his uh, his costume on. I just had asked him, I said, hey, how, how's it going? And and he said, oh, you know, just, just doing my job. You know, I don't think he was real pleased about what he was doing. And I said, well, he goes, just paying the bills, you know? And I said, okay, well, hey, you know, good luck, have fun tonight, whatever. Talked to him about 20 minutes before he went out. And, and that was the last time, you know, I'd ever talked to him. And, you know, I saw them carry him back after it. It was just, uh... The night of May 23rd when Owen died. His instinct was telling him not not to do it. He didn't feel like it was right. And um, he went and he did the thing and we all know what happened. Well, I guess only God is gonna be able to tell us the all in all of it, but bottom line is the rigging wasn't proper. He was coming out of the roof. He was doing it for three or four months before that and it just, technical difficulty with the harness, I guess, is what it said. And Owen came down and caught his chin and died in the ring. They t took him out of the ring and said, next match, you're on. As he goes out there, because if he's not told what, he's, what, what to do, he can't feed his family. If it goes against his grain, uh, what are his repercussions? His repercussions are him, him getting fired, getting fired, getting fired, getting fired. I'm not going to judge Owen Hart or anybody else because everybody's an individual. He felt that he felt that he had to do this, or else he is. He must said he felt that you know. At that point in his life, I think he felt that he had to do those kind of stunts because he wasn't willing to do other angles and other things like that. He was asked to do it again, he'd do it again. They were pressuring him. They wanted him to do stuff with Deborah on camera. And he said flat out, he goes, I'm not gonna have my kids watching the TV seeing their father committing adultery. That's why he did what he had to do. Did what he had to do. Did what he had to do.